So while working on various bits and pieces of things, a friend of mine wrote to me and he's doing a 3D printed glove. And what he wanted to be able to do was print the um, components of that glove, because what he's using now are additional components that he has to put on. And it made me think, what would be useful uh, uh, in terms of a conductive 3D printing filament? And I came across this. Now, obviously, uh, what you need for a 3D filament is something that will go through the heating head, something that's got a low melting point. So essentially, you're looking for a low melting point plastic. And this stuff is called polymorph. Uh, you can buy it at Radio Shack or Matlins and lots and lots of places. You get it on eBay and generally on the web. And um, it's not that expensive. There's about, I think, half a kilo in there. And it costs me about £10, something like that. So not massively expensive stuff. And you mix that with the conductive element. Now, the conductive element used can be carbon black um, or, in my case, of course, the graphite powder. People have got a ton of this stuff and um, this is 5 micron um, powdered flake graphite, so extremely conductive and good to use in this. Now, the ratio of the plastic to the um, graphite is going to be something you're going to have to experiment with, but there is a level at which it won't conduct underneath, but if you get it too high, it won't go through your head either, and somewhere between 15 to 40 percent is going to be about right. It's going to be the right balance between conductivity and um, flexibility for getting through the print. Now, you might think what you have to do is melt this stuff, stir in the graphite and hair presto, you're done. And you can try that if you like, but it's a nightmare. It actually creates a huge sticky mess and it still remains quite thick before it starts to burn and the graphite just won't go in there. So the methodology used, and this is from a paper incidentally, it's called a simple low cost conductive composite material uh, for 3D printing of electronic sensors. So if you bung that in the search you'll find that. Um, what they do is use a solvent extraction and a solvent casting method. In a solvent casting method you dissolve the plastic in a solvent, add the graphite to it, stir it for about an hour and let it dry, let all the solvent evaporate off. Unfortunately, the solvents that you have to use for this stuff are not very nice. This one is um, dichloromethane, and this does a really good job at dissolving the uh, polymorph. You can also use acetone, and you can use um, ethyl acetate. That'll do a good job of it as well. And essentially, you pour your solvent in here and add this. Now, it's about 100 millilitres of solvent and about 7.5 grams of this stuff. You pour it in and stir it until it dissolves. It takes a while, it takes about an hour for it to dissolve, dissolve. Once it's dissolved, you add your graphite powder to it and you add the powder, that is to say, anywhere between 15 and 40%, and you'll need to do a number of tests just to work out what your powder is going to do. I used 40%, incidentally, and it produces quite a nice plastic. And once you've done that, you then leave it on the stirrer or you stir it by hand for a further hour. So once you've got the um, plastic to dissolve, then you add 1.125 grams of uh, graphite to it. And this is the uh, 5 micron graphite that we use for just about everything. And um, you stir it for an hour. And after the end of that hour, you set it somewhere to evaporate. So once it's finished on the stirrer, just pour it onto a wide brim, something or other, a plate, I used a pan lid actually, and stick it outside until all the solvent evaporates. So when all the solvent evaporates, what you get is this, which is a graphite um, plastic composite, and this will melt at about 60 degrees. Uh, now obviously it's in a lump like this, and what we want to do is get it into a filament form. There's a number of ways you can get it into a filament form. You can make a fil filament extruder, and there are filament extruder do-it-yourself kits available. There's uh, some nice videos actually on the net on how to make your own filament extruder. Or, when this is tacky, and just before it's actually got to its nice firm state, you roll it out, and here is a filament. Now, you can see that particularly well. It's about three millimeters thick, and you just roll it out. I did it by hand, but you can do it between two bits of glass. And this has a resistivity of around about 9 ohms a centimetre. Now, that's pretty good actually. And I could play around with that a little bit more to try and get that resistance down against its actual um, printability. Now, I obviously don't have a 3D printer, so I can't do those. I just went for a reasonable resistance to make sure that the thing worked as a theory and um, a practice. So if anybody out there has got a 3D printer and wants to give this a go, it'd be great and you could uh, report back to me let me know how it gets on that'd be cool to know as well 
But there we go, a conductive uh, filament for a 3D printer for printing your components directly using your printer.